Hello interwebs, Dan Moran here with Concierge Diamonds. Wanted to answer a question that I've been getting more and more over the last three or four months. Uh, people shopping for engagement rings and for diamonds have been asking me about HCA, the Holloway Cut Advisor, and how to interpret this number and how important is it and what do I do with a diamond's HCA score? So first of all, what is an HCA score? The Holloway Cut Advisor is something that's designed to help a layperson understand if a round diamond is well cut or not. It only works for round diamonds and it's meant to say, uh, is this diamond going to optimally return light to you or not? It's important to understand that HCA is designed to be a rejection tool, not a selection tool. In other words, having a good HCA score means the diamond might be okay, uh, but doesn't necessarily mean it's okay. And having a bad one is kind of a weed out kind of a tool. So it's not meant to help you pick a diamond, it's meant to help you reject a diamond. I have a few issues with HCA score because I think that uh, a few people, especially internet savvy research type people, have become overly reliant on tools like Holloway Cut Advisor uh, and are using them to replace their own eyes or the eyes of experts, which I think is a mistake. So look, when an expert looks at a diamond, he doesn't need to see any grading or any scores to know if a diamond is cut well or not. When you've looked at enough of them, you know if a diamond is returning the light as it should or not. And there are a few different combinations of crown and pavilion angles, total depths, tables, etc. very technical uh, measurements of a diamond, then when you add them up, there are a few different ways to get to a beautiful cut that will return light well. There's not just one way to do it. So consumers have trouble understanding that though because they don't have the experience looking at these things. So uh, the larger gem labs, GIA, EGL, USA, etc., started issuing cut grades for diamonds, saying we think this diamond is excellent, very good, good, fair, or poor in its cut. So that abstraction was useful for consumers to say, okay, some expert has given me some relative measurement of whether a diamond is cut well or not. Well, HCA and tools like it further abstract from these grades and say, okay, let's take those measurements and feed them into a black box formula and give some numerical value so you can rank diamonds one against the other. The problem there is you're really looking at an abstraction of an abstraction, right? You look at the measurements of a diamond, which already is taking you away from physically looking at the stone. Then you're feeding those measurements into a formula and getting some numerical value that it's not 100% clear how the formula calculates it. It kind of is a black box that spits out a number. And then you kind of blindly trust that number. Well, I understand why as a consumer, if you're looking at these stones, it's tempting to do that because it, it gives you some objective measure to compare one stone against another but I think it's more deceptive than it is helpful. I've seen stones with great HCA scores that look great, and I've seen stones with great HCA scores that don't look as great because of other factors of the stone. I've seen stones that are technically not great HCA scores that look wonderful and look better than the ones with great HCA scores. There are a lot of different variables at play when you're examining a diamond to determine whether the cut is what it should be or not. And as much as it's tempting for a consumer to use these tools to uh, empower him or herself with information, there's a reason why there's an industry and there are experts in this business. It's really a lot to learn. And if you learn enough to really properly grade a diamond, you're not a consumer anymore, you're an expert. Get into the business. It's just that much to know. So HCA score, I suppose, is nice, but I wouldn't rely on it as a determinant for whether a diamond is well cut or not. And the best advice uh, or the best example I can give you why that's a, a valid uh, position to take is I've been in this business for 13 years. I've bought and sold thousands of diamonds in the wholesale trade. I have never had a wholesale client, had a professional, a diamond dealer, a jeweler, or a jewelry store owner, ask me what the Holloway Cut Advisor score of a diamond was before buying it. Professionals do not rely on that information to make a determination when they're buying a stone. Likewise, I have never calculated an HCA score when deciding whether I want to buy a diamond or not. I look at the diamond, maybe I look at the numbers on the diamond, and I make a decision. I don't abstract away from those numbers. So if it's a tool the professionals don't take seriously and don't use, maybe you shouldn't either. So HCA, it's good for what it is, but it's not as important as it's made out to be on a lot of websites these days. I hope that helped untangle some of the uh, confusion and information about HCA and other tools like it. If you have questions, please uh, ask me. You can find me on Facebook, find me on Reddit. I'm Diamond Dealer on Reddit or Concierge Diamonds on Facebook. Or just email me, dan at conciergediamonds.com, or go to conciergediamonds.com, grab my number, and pick up the phone and call me. I'm happy to talk with anybody about this stuff anytime. Thanks very much, guys. I'll talk with you soon.